came here, I guess it was with Tulsa, and I interviewed you in the little visitor's training room, and there must have been three or four of us. And there's something about Danny Manning, because that was one of the most watched videos we ever put together. Oh, wow. Because it was you. People must be bored. They, well, <laughs> I mean, it's not often that you get to talk to one of the greatest basketball players I've ever seen. And I think if those knees didn't, didn't give out, you would have been in the Mount Rushmore of basketball. But with all that being said, uh, can you talk about your relationship with Mark Turgeon and what brought you to College Park? Uh, the reason I'm here is because of Mark Turgeon. You know, Turgeon and I played together for three years in college. Mm -hmm. Trust him, know him, love him. Had an opportunity to come be a part of his staff and thought it would be a great opportunity for me to continue to learn, to continue to grow, and, and be in an area that I'm really enjoying. Mm -hmm. Do you keep in touch with uh, like the Milton Newtons and all those guys from your championship days? Absolutely, we do. Uh, are there reunions and all that stuff? Yeah, we have quite a few reunions um, throughout the years. And we have a tech stream where we stay in touch, stay in contact, and check in with one another from time to time. Uh, what do you see in the big guys? I, I love watching you coach those guys. What do you see in the big men that you have here at Maryland? We're excited about our guys. Um, we, we think we have some big guys that are capable of doing a lot of different things. We think Q is really tremendous on the block, does a great job of carving out space and getting to a spot and scoring the basketball. We're really excited about Julian as well because of his athletic ability, being able to step out on the floor and his quickness, agility. And then all the other guys we have too. We feel like everybody brings something different, which makes it really fun, especially when we start playing one-on-one -on -one because we have to guard everybody's strengths and we try to take those away throughout the course of our individual competitions. Mm -hmm. And guys are stepping up, starting to understand mm -hmm. what Coach Turge wants from them defensively as well as offensively. So with those knee problems, you still able to go out there and ball? No, my playing days are over. <laughs> Completely. Completely. What? I'm content with how it went down. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm very fortunate and blessed. Yeah. Those days are gone. When was the last time you just played pickup ball? <laughs> how many years have been? I don't play for free. Oh, okay. When I, stopped, when I retired, that was it. All right. <laughs> what have you learned about Maryland, this program, this campus, um, this team, since you came on to the program with Coach Turgeon, what have, what have you learned about Maryland basketball? I had a little bit of an idea. Actually, my very first game in college was against Maryland in Alaska, the big Alaska shootout. And so for me, my eyes were wide open with my matchup of trying to guard Lenny Bias. So that was my first assignment in college, which uh, was very challenging, to say the least. And, um, you know, for me, Fortunate enough to play in the NBA, but my very first coach in the NBA played at Maryland. His name was Gene Chu. And Gene Chu was also my father's first coach in the NBA at the Bullets. So it's kind of ironic that I'm, I'm at a place where my first college, my first pro coach attended and was a very great player. So, you know, for me, learning the area, tremendous amount of support. And then for me personally, just a lot of different things to do outside of basketball. Whether it's, you know, different things in the community, whether it's restaurants or museums or just landmarks that you can go be a, be a part of. It's, it's been a lot of fun for my wife and I as, as empty nesters to, to, be, to be a part of it.